All right, guys, this is Jason with FPV Model. Uh, we're gonna make this short and sweet. What we're gonna do today is we're going to uh, just show you how to flash the firmware on the new X-Racer uh, V3 flight controller. So first of all, let's just start off with the uh, actual product link itself. So if you go over to our website and find the uh, X-Racer link, and just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And whenever you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see xracer firmware.rar this is just basically a uh it's just a zip file what it's going to contain is it's going to contain the hex file for beta flight clean flight and race flight uh currently we're working on getting these uploaded onto the configurators so they will show up in the drop down list but until that happens uh you'll have to download the hex from our website and we're going to uh, try to update these also just as soon as possible. So uh, once you download that, uh, basically you just go ahead and pick your poison. Uh, what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use uh, Betaflight. So I'm also going to try out the uh, new Betaflight configurator. Um, I think Betaflight's moved over because they rely heavily on uh, CLI commands, and I think uh, I think CleanFlight's trying to move away from that. So they've uh, made their own configurator here uh, anyways uh, whichever one you decide to use basically what you have to do is go in here and go to uh, no reboot sequence turn that on flash on connect turn that on full chip erase and manual baud rate uh, make sure you choose all of those then load firmware locally uh, like I mentioned I'm going to use the beta flight hex so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up now with all of these connected I'm just going to hold down the boot button on the flight controller uh, hold down the boot button on the flight controller. Let me go ahead and uh, get my finger on there and plug it in. Uh, once it plugs in, since I've got flash on connect, uh, it's just going to go ahead and it's going to start flashing over. Now, if it does get hung up and it doesn't flash over uh, on the first time, no worries about it. Just uh, disconnect the board, hold the boot button down again, and then reconnect it. Uh, now that it's just about finished, there you go. Uh, programming successful. So if you go over to uh, go over to connect now, you'll see that we're uh, you'll see that we're actually in the configurator, and you can go ahead and set up uh, set up your PIDs, your ports, uh, do SBUS, whatever you need to do. Uh, however, you're going to add everything to it. But we just wanted to show you uh, where you could get the firmware. So anyways, I hope this answers some of your questions. I've seen a uh, seen several questions over on uh, Josh Bardwell's video and uh, Project Blue Falcon. So uh, hopefully this will answer um, answer those questions on people asking what firmwares they can use. Thanks for watching.